So in this video, we're going to take a look at how to um, plot quadratic functions, but not by using a table, by using common sense and finding the intercepts and the shape of the graph. Now, let's take a look at a nice, simple example. We're going to start off with this one here. OK, y equals x squared minus 6x plus 8. Now, if we want to find where this line crosses the y-axis, Let's think about that for a second. Well, imagine my diagram, right? Okay, let's just presume it plots anywhere like there. Who knows, right? Well, I already know the x coordinate, the x coordinate is going to have to be zero. So if I think about this, y equals x squared minus 6x plus 8, I can input zero in there as x. And that will generate for me that y-intercept because that's the definition of a function, okay? M inputs are already known. It's zero. What's that output? Well, clearly, those two parts there will disappear because they're both worth zero. My answer is eight. My y-intercept is going to be zero, eight. Now, I appreciate it's not to scale. We'll, we'll figure out that in a second. But let's just write that down, okay, and make a note of it, and we'll draw a better diagram in just a moment. So y-intercept is going to be 0, 8. Now, let's carry on now and think about the x-intercepts. Well, again, we've got y equals x squared minus 6x plus 8. Now, imagine drawing this function. Who knows what it looks like, right? Okay, maybe it's some sort of smiley face that's going to have x intercepts there and there. Now, I don't know what they are, but I do know that the y component is 0 because when I'm on that x-axis, I've got a y equals 0. So that means really then, if you think about it, I already know the outcome. The outcome is zero. So what I've got to do is I've got to work backwards to find out what the inputs are. Well, this is going to be the same thing as solving this equation. Zero equals x squared minus 6x plus 8. Now, I could do this with the quadratic formula, but it's probably easier for me just to factorize it because I can see I've got a two numbers that multiply to make an 8 and add to make a minus 6. Well, that's going to be x minus 4 and x minus 2. In order for this to be 0, either x minus 4 is 0, giving me x equals 4, or x minus 2 is 0, giving me x is equal to 2. So I found those coordinate points. x is equal to 4 and x is equal to 2. I could put them in here, look, okay, 2 and 4, and we've got those as well. So let's make a note of that. We've got x intercepts, at 2, 0 and 4, 0. OK, now, finally, OK, we're going to do a little sketch. But before we do that, we'll just think about the shape for a second. Now, quadratics are one of two situations. They're either smiley faces or they are sad faces. And that is the only way that can be. We need to just think about which one of those it's going to be. Now, this is all dependent on the leading power of x. So something like y equals minus 2x squared, well, that's going to be a sad face because we have a minus sign here. y equals 4x squared minus 8x plus 2, well, that's got a leading coefficient that's positive. So that's going to be a smiley face. So this is what tells us about the shape. Now, in our example here, y equals x squared minus 6x plus 8, we have like a kind of a 1 there, which means it's going to be a smiley face. OK, it's 1 is a positive number. So now we have all the information we need. We can just draw the graph. Now, we've got squares, but if you didn't have squares, you could just draw a sketch. OK. We'll just keep this nice and straightforward. Um, we can see we'll have a one-to-one -one relationship with numbers and squares. So if I wanted to find the uh, y-intercept, it's 0, 8 there, look. OK. Counting across, I would have my uh, x-intercepts there, look, at 2 and 4. 2, 0, and 4, 0. And now I can draw my quadratic. Now, it's going to be symmetrical. We don't know any other information, so it won't be perfect. But we can definitely get an idea of the sort of shape it's going to look like 
it's going to look like that. Okay, now let's try a harder one, and we'll do this nice and quickly, and hopefully you can follow along. Right, so let's just pick uh, this one here, okay? y equals minus x squared minus 15x minus 36. So first of all, y intercept, well, that is going to be 0 minus 36, because if I put 0 in, it'll cancel those out and leave me with a minus 36. Well, what about the shape? That's the next easiest thing to do. Well, we've got a negative sign there. So we're looking at a sad face, if you like. OK, a sad face because we've got a negative symbol there. OK, next thing to do is to solve the equation equal to zero to find the x-intercepts. So we're going to be solving zero equals x minus x squared minus 15x minus 36. Now, I don't like uh, using the quadratic formula if I can avoid it. So I'm going to just move this all to the left-hand side by adding an x squared and adding a 15x and adding a 36. So solving that equation is going to be equivalent to solving this equation. Now, can I do this? Well, I know that I've got no number in front of the x squared, so maybe I can factorize it again two numbers that multiply to make 36 and add to make 15 are going to be 3 and 12. This is going to give me x is equal to minus 3 or x is equal to minus 12. So I've got my uh, x-intercepts. They are going to be at minus 3, 0 and minus 12, 0. So now I have everything I need to draw my... Um, uh, to draw this out. Now, I won't be doing this to scale, so don't worry about these squares here, but if I was doing a very, very quick diagram, I'm going to mark some critical points. So down here somewhere is my y-intercept. I'm going to have a value here, minus 3, 0, and a value over here, minus 12, 0. And my shape is a sad face, so we're going to maybe look something like this. That's all we can do. We don't know any more. It's not accurate, but we get a sense of where it crosses the x-intercepts, the y-intercepts, and what the general shape is going to look like. Okay, I hope that helps you to draw quadratic functions just by finding the intercepts and understanding a little bit there about the shape.